Hello, so now let me teach you how to add variables into your agent script so that you can talk about people's address, about their age, about their profession inside of the script, and it can be a different variable for every single person. It is super cool. You're going to like this a lot. So I'm in one of my clients' accounts right now, and they start off with, I'm currently looking to invest in a few properties this month, and I came across your property at metadata.address. I was wondering if you'd consider an offer in cash for it. So this is an example of how you can use a variable. In this case, they're trying to invest in a few properties, right? So they're calling people and they're saying, hey, I just saw your house. Can I invest in it? That sounds kind of scammy. It sounds like, who are you? And if they sound a little robotic too, because the voice isn't perfect yet, it doesn't sound good, right? So they added a variable here. Or I've, I added a variable for them that says metadata.address. And what that means is when they call, you're going to be like, hey, I saw, I came across your property at 123 Main Street. I was wondering if you consider an offer in cash for it. If that's their real address, it sounds a lot more believable. It sounds like you're not an AI. They're like, an AI doesn't know my address. This has to be a real human that looked me up. This sounds more believable. Instantly, your credibility goes straight up. So I'd really, 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 really recommend this if you're doing anything where it builds your credibility if you know a certain aspect of their life, like something about them. In this case, it's an address, but it can be anything. If it's for longevity research, you need to know their age. You can't be calling a 20-year-old and ask them if they have gray hair. You can use my last video to set up different if-then logic trees and use this and combine it. So you can say, I heard you were 30 years old. Do you feel old right now? If they say no, do this. If they say yes, do this. So by combining these, you can make some really, really powerful agents. So now I'm going to be showing you how you can import variables. So it's very simple, actually. First, you're going to go to a Google Sheet or a Excel, whatever you like. In this case, I'm using Google Sheet. Now your top row, it has to be the name of the actual variable, right? So we'll say name. We'll say first name, last name. And these are just uh, normal. These are, you put these in everything. Email, that's normal. Now you're going to add all the variables you want. So for here, I'm going to put address. You could put state. You could put age. You could put anything you want. For this case, I'm just going to do address. So we'll say Joey, Seaman, Nova Echo Tech. And then we'll do one, two, three, four, Main Street. Okay, so now we're going to save this. You can save it as an Excel or CSV. I'd always recommend CSV. It's, it's a little bit easier, better formatting. So you're going to come back into your air. You're going to press contacts, import contact. I already have me here, so let me delete that. Import contacts, first list. Now, if you've never imported contacts before, this is just showing you how you're supposed to format it, but we've already formatted correctly if you followed my instructions. Then you're gonna click here, add the CSV. As you can see, it says, uh, oh, I spelled it wrong. That's not good, so you wanna make sure you spell it right, but we have address, we'll pretend that's how you spell it for now. Perfect, so the address, you don't even have to choose anything, just don't press the skip. And then next, and then import data. Now you're not going to see it on the contacts page. There's no heading for it. You're not going to see it. But if you go into the agent, and I know it's, it's kind of weird right now because they don't let you see it, but it, it, it's still in there. It's in the code. So I spelled it wrong. So you have to just make sure it's, it doesn't matter if it actually says address, it just has to say the same. So for this, I'm just going to match it with what I put here. Uh, it converts everything that you put here from capital to lowercase, and from spaces to underscores. So if you put, uh, let's say you put address today. I don't know, that doesn't even make sense, but let's say you put that. That would convert into address underscore today. So you'd have to make sure to match it up, but in general, I wouldn't even recommend using any spaces. I try to make everything, all these headers, one word. I'd highly recommend making them all word, one word. So for this one, we have your property at metadata.address. You're always going to put these squigglies. These tell the bot when to, to stop saying and to start thinking, right? So it stops saying right here because it sees a squiggly. And it says, because it scans 
character by character. So once it sees a squiggly, it says, hey, it's time to start thinking. Let me shut up for a second and think, right? It thinks, what does this say? So then it goes to the end of the squiggly and it says, what does this mean? What does it want me to import? Okay, got it. It wants me to import that. So it grabs this, one, two, three, four, main street, adds it in here in fractions of a second, and then says it out loud, right? So it, it's always squiggly metadata dot whatever you put there, and then another squiggly, all lowercase. I'd really recommend no spaces. If you do that, you can have a variable for anything. You just want to make sure that all of your contacts, every single contact that you import, does have something in this in this address column. Because if, if they don't, then what's going to happen is the ones that do are going to get their address, and the ones that don't is going to say, "I came across your property at none." I was wondering what I was wondering if you consider a cash offer for it. This will switch to none or null. I don't remember which one. If there's no data here. All right, guys, that's it. I hope that helped you. Once again, I'd really appreciate if you sign up with the link in my description. It'll give you a free advanced air account, which means dedicated servers, priority air support, priority air calling, new access to beta features, and it would help me out. So I'd appreciate that. Have a good day. Thank you.